Hey guys, so I just checked group wall from Starlight SX again. I got a request to explain what a local script is. So I'm pretty sure before I made a video com comparing what a, saying what a local script is and a script is, but I guess I messed it up, of course, obviously. But I'll, I'm gonna go a little more in depth this time using Roblox's explanation of what they are and kind of how I use them. Tell you guys kind of what they do. I will be using the help book that you can find on Roblox Studio through. Through view and help wiki. So if you guys kind of can't follow up along, it is there for you guys to read. So we're going to start with a local script like she wanted. So basically, if you were to look at the help wiki, you get this description, this right away. Local scripts differ from regular scripts as they do not run server side, but instead perform their actions on a client. This makes them incredibly useful for accessing the properties of certain objects which may only appear on the client and not the server, such as a player's camera. In a local script using the local player property and the player service, this part is kind of just an example. Basically, you have some things that run server-wise, and you have things that run client-wise. Say you were to join a game. Once you join a game, you'll get this option. Say we're running... I don't know if it will show solo, but let's try it. If we run solo, I'm going to see if we can get the client to show. Alright. Um, when you join a game, and if you, were to, if you were to open Studio, you're exploring all that in-game, you would find that it says client. Client basically runs local scripts, things through your player. Server-side scripts run... A normal script would run server side. Ex exactly what it sounds. Server side. Difference between a local script and a normal script is a local script can typically only work via a player. So, say you're trying to use a local script in something else, something like a part. I can't guarantee that it'll work, but typically it is used for players only. So let's scroll down the help book and see what we have. In order for local, yeah, here we go. One of three places. All right, here we go. I'm gonna read this straight up here. In order for local script to function to work, it needs to be in one of three areas. So in order for the local script to run, it needs to be in either your player's backpack. It can be direct directly or indirectly. Say you have it in you have the script itself in your backpack. You can run it like that. Say you have it in a part or say a tool or a hop bin inside of your backpack, it'll still work. If it's in your player's model, say, so you're to join your game, walk around, you know how you have your character, right? Your player's model. As long as it's in here, it'll run. In this case, I can use the example of the animation script. Roblox's animation script is a local script, but it still works, even though it's a local. And the best way I can use that is an example. And then we have the player's GUI, which, if you guys don't know, I can explain later on. No. It doesn't need to be directly in them, it just needs to be part of it. So say in your screen player's GUI, you have, um, say you have, like, a frame, and then... A value, and then inside the value, you have a script. For some reason, I don't know why I did that, but this would still work because it's still a child of your GUI. Basically, if, as long as it's part of any of them in any way, so long as it's connected in any way. I'm gonna wait for this to load real quick. All right. Yeah, basically right here, it says, if a local script is not inside one of these locations, it will not run its little code. See scripting for information about creating custom scripts, so on and so forth. Properties are pretty straightforward. Just something you can mess around with it a little bit, not really go over them in this video. So let me go back to the question to be sure I answered it. I just want to be, can you explain what local scripts are? Alright. Like I said, there are scripts that are different from local, regular scripts that run Client side information they can only be used as long as they're part of the set of your player's backpack, your player's GUI, or your character's model in the workspace. 
they don't have to be directly inside of it. They can be indirectly through a part, a tool, so on and so forth, that kind of thing. So that's pretty straightforward how to do that. Right, now, I'm going to compare this with a regular script. So the help link of a regular script doesn't have as long as it. Obviously, you just can tell a description on it. It's pretty straightforward. A script in Roblox is a type of object that holds a section of Lua code. A script will execute on the server and has access to only server-side event and properties. So, in the example of the local script, it used it said something about the camera. Basically, your player's camera is run client side. So, if you tried using a script, a regular script that runs server side and only has access to server side events and properties, if you were to try to use the player's camera through a normal script, it won't work. Even if you wrote the script perfectly fine, it has to be a local script for that to work since it's client side. So if you guys, if you say you're writing a script and you know it's it's perfectly good, you know it would work and it's not working, there's always the option of trying to switch it over to a regular script or a local script because that sometimes happens with a hopper bin. Say you're trying to use a hopper bin. If you're using a hopper bin to edit, say like something in your character or do something, you'd have to use a local script, not a regular script. It would work in, in build mode, but say once you go to play mode, it won't run, basically. You run into the issue of it not running when you go to play. So you're always going to want to try and test it out. If you're making a move, you're going to want to try to test it out frequently. Make sure you have it working. So I wanted to go over that real quick. Credit to Starlight SX for asking. If you guys have any more questions that you want me to go in more depth on, if you guys want me to redo any of my older videos and explain some more detail, just tell me and I'll go back and do it. Thanks for watching, subscribe, keep checking for more videos, that's all.